Hi there, Prairie Plant Girl here. Um, it's the end of April and I thought it was time to give you another little update on what I have growing. Uh, we're going to start out in the cold frame today. I think you can see over to my right here, that's my pots of potatoes and they have not liked this cold weather. It has just been ridiculously cold. Um, cold at nights, so we've gotten into like minus 14. We've been some days barely getting above freezing during the day. It's been crazy for April, especially the end of April. So um, it's been really hit and miss trying to, to, to grow things out here, but that is the weather here in Saskatchewan. And so you have to just roll with it. Um, that being said, I don't think I really have much left. You know, I'd planted up a few brassicas early just to give it a try and some peas and carrots. Uh, I'm pretty sure all the brassicas are gone. Peas and carrots never did come up yet. So I've kind of dug down. The peas don't look rotten. We'll see. They could still come once it warms up, but uh, I'm not holding my breath waiting. But let's see what's underneath this uh, frost guard here and uh, see what's growing out here. The sun has just started to make its way out today, though actually it feels like the clouds just came out as I say that. It's just started to warm up, so, so good time to try and catch a minute here and uh, give you a little look-see. So uh, back here I have some snapdragons. Um, these are the rocket mix. These have been out here for quite a while and they're, they're doing really well. I guess they have a few little marks on them, but snapdragons are tough. The spinach has been out here for, I think, a month now, and it's still putting on a bit of new growth. It's not amazing, but it's, it's looking all right. Uh, this is just some bare roots that I purchased, and it might be too cold out here. I have three pots of those. I just threw them out here, though. I've, I've never grown that before. Um, Arum, Arumerus, I'm not sure even what it is. Tall, spiky kind of thing, I think. Um, then I just brought these out here the other day. Uh, this is my sweet peas. This is sugar and spice. These are just a short sweet pea, which I didn't know existed. So these are supposed to be, I think like six inches tall and they're um, kind of pink tones. So I'm really interested to see these uh, little sweet peas and see how they turn out. I, like I said, I always thought sweet peas were taller vining kind of plants. I, know, I didn't know they had any that were shorter. So I actually let these germinate in the house. Most of them had germinated and then I brought them out. Uh, but sweet peas are pretty cold tolerant. And then I just brought out my celery the other day. And there's actually a little bit of parsley in this little pot here. Um, right here, this is parsley. Uh, it doesn't like the cold, I'm sure, but it was in with mostly celery, so I just brought it all out. And then I have several pots of celery here. Not sure I'll keep them all, but let them all grow. Celery is very cold tolerant. It's, it's pretty happy to be out here. It can take a few degrees of frost. Okay, so down on the next level here, we have right in the front is um, some more sweet peas just coming up. These have been planted for a little bit longer than the rest. This is Zinfidel and um, Sweet Painted, or sorry, not Sweet, Painted Lady. And then this, uh, I think, is a bunch that uh, was just mixed seed I collected last year. The Zinfidel was collected last year as well. Um, but these, I wasn't sure exactly what variety was in that little packet I collected. I didn't label it. And then this tray, I believe, you saw in my last tour maybe. Um, so there's several varieties of beets and Brussels sprouts and my cauliflower, my cabbage, my broccoli. Uh, the cauliflower, as I've said in the past, is not a big fan of cold weather and right at the very back there, that's what's, um, that's what's suffering at the back there is the cauliflower. Um, I've also found the, uh, the stonehead cabbage some of those have have uh, not been too happy, but um, overall they're doing good. The brassicas are usually pretty hardy. Um, 
back over on this side I just brought out this tray of bunny tails grass and um, there's some Echium russicum there's two here one's looking better than the other I need to move these things get some more light on them and then I have some foxgloves and I don't know how well you can see them but I have two trays of foxgloves out here and they were all planted at the same time and let me grab the other ones so that's that's the other batch and um, they were planted in the same soil at the same time they were all sprouted about the same time um, the difference is is uh, the seed packet I believe it was said foxglove prefers to be in cooler temperatures to grow um, from germination so I'd put some out in my garage which is about 15 to 18 degrees undergrow lights there and these uh, were out there initially and then I brought them in just to see and they were in my house for quite a while um, which is much warmer and that's the difference now they both wound up out here where it's cooler but I think really till they get up to I would say at least the four to six leaf stage they probably want warmer temperatures it's the first time I've grown foxglove from seeds so that uh, would be my assessment of that so there's some more bunny tails grass right at the very back there and more of the uh, rocket snapdragons and right in the front here is my onions I should do some trimming one day after I'm to bring some something at here so I should do some trimming on them but they're looking good um, they seem to onions don't seem to mind the cold and the frost at all uh, this bucket here I believe is kale yeah dinosaur kale red Russian kale and I think they're all written on here and uh, I thought there was three varieties but it looks like red Russian kale and dino kale and I'm not sure what the D is. Um, I'll have to look that up. And then in the very back pot there I have spinach. It's Escalade skin spinach. And then I have some purple Vienna uh, kohlrabi and some white uh, kohlrabi. And right here is lettuce. Um, Ruby, Barilla, and red salad bowl and cario cario it's been so cold uh, my watering can it's it's water today but most days it's uh has a good layer of ice on it out here so that's what i have growing out here in my cold frame let's go in the house and uh check out what's going there it's pretty full in there i'm really hoping the nights uh, start to get a little bit warmer so i'm gonna bring some more things out here I'm really enjoying the crocuses right now. They don't, they don't seem to mind the cold too much, though that, that one night took a few out, but it's nice to see a little color out in the ground. So we're in the garage now. Uh, took a little pit stop in here, and uh, I just want to show you I have a few things growing out here, so let's have a look. First thing is my dahlias that I stored over winter in the pot. This is the one that wasn't up. Uh, I think I showed it in my uh, Carabdelia video just recently. And then there's the other one and it's looking great. And then over here I have petunias. So I've moved all my petunias out here. Petunias do, um, from anything I've seen and researched, prefer to be out in cooler cooler conditions uh, to grow on and uh, I was hoping to just get them straight out to the the cold frame but it's just been much too cold at night so they're in the garage for now and it's not super cool out here um, but it's it's cooler than in the uh, the grow room so um, on the left in the black pots is the uh, red storm and I've just potted them up um, maybe a week ago and then in the middle here is my white storm. And then over 
on the right is my fire frost and they're looking pretty good i've lost a couple um but i think they're actually they're doing pretty good here um petunias are really slow growers so i don't know if you could see on the tags these were planted march 13th and it is april the 26th so about a month and a half and this is what we're at so if you're growing petunias from seed, don't lose heart. All of a sudden they just will take off. All right, let's go check out the grow, the grow room. All right, I had to back you way out here to try and get everything in the shot. But uh, there's my grow shelf. And uh, I'll bring you in, you can have a little bit closer look at things. We'll try and go through them real quick because you know, I don't want this to be a super long video, but it's good to, I like to see what other people are growing, so hopefully you do too. So down here, just sitting on the floor, is, um, this is Nicotiana, and these are way too many plants in a little container here. So they're just waiting, um, and I actually have some pots sitting to the side here in tags, and I'm just waiting for a little bit warmer day and then I'm going to uh, divide these up into other pots and I'm going to try uh, having them out in the cold frame. To the, the left here is some salpiglossus and same thing. These are just in little cell packs. I think they're ready to, to move on. I think they would be happier. Uh, they're drying out pretty quick. I have more of the Nicotiana in here in just one in each of these container this size and I think I have more oh yeah more salpiglossus just up um, here so there will be some in the house uh, just in case but these are supposed to be moderately uh, cold tolerant so out in the cold frame with some um, some frost covering on them on the cool nights uh, they should be okay out there I have some toilet tubes because I have a little bit more of that uh, sugar and spice that sweet pea. This is the package. I've never seen that before. See? Oh, I think I said six inches. It's seven inches. I don't know. Camera doesn't want to focus for me today. Um, anyway, so I'm going to plant some more of that up. I brought in my cannas and dahlias uh, and set them up so you'll see um, fungus gnat traps all over the place again. The bulbs seem to bring in a whole new host and I'm just working on eradicating them again but um, that's part of growing plants in your house but you can see lots of cannas coming up if you saw my video um, of how to divide and pot up cannas in the spring indoors then that's that's what those are from and then on the side here I have impatience um, these I believe in this tray are all from seeds that I saved um, out of my yard last year and then over here, this is that Selpaglossus. I love it. And then I have a tray of a calendula is just starting to germinate and some giardia or blanket flower in the back here that hasn't started to germinate yet. But those are just planted, I think, a week, 10, oh, ten days ago. So. So those are just uh, getting started there. Um, over here, I have more impatience. Um, this is tropical fizz. Uh, can't see the tag. Beacon series uh, violet shades. Beacon series white. Uh, more tropical fizz and beacon series bright red. This one didn't have as good of germination by the looks of things. This is some parsley and I had cumin here. Cumin says don't plant it inside. It sprouted, it germinated, it grew about this big and just completely died off. So I guess don't grow it inside. I've never grown it before. This is the Calibrecoa. I think I had a video. I can't remember if I did a video on the uh, Calibrecoa or not, but 
I'll tell you, I am disappointed. This was supposed to be a little pelleted seed that has three varieties of caliber crow in each pellet. And um, this has three plants in it. This has one, one, two, one, one. Did I say that one? So I am very disappointed in these. I don't know if I'm just not giving them what they want. I've never grown caliber koa from seed before and boy, it just doesn't seem happy at all. So I'm not sure where that's gonna go. This is my eggplant. Eggplant takes forever sometimes to germinate. At least for me, I always find it takes, takes its time, but uh, I have Black Beauty, uh, da, 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 what's this one? Patio Baby and Violetta, so. That's what those are. So my next shelf is kind of my little seedling shelf. So these are pretty small. There's nothing actually growing in this right now. I have planted, what do I have planted in here? Bachelors, Buttons, and Cosmos. So those are just planted yesterday. So it doesn't matter how many times I look at them. Doesn't matter how much I look at them, they're, they're not growing yet. Um, right here, I know the lighting's not great. Um, I don't know if you can see those there. There's the uh, marigolds. Um, and I don't have a variety. It's the only thing up in this tray. I also planted mountain mint and hyssop, anise hyssop at the same time. It's not up yet. And um, I have some nemophilia. Nemophila, I'm not sure how you say it. These are penny black. I've never grown this from seed before, never grown it before. So I just planted this yesterday as well. Hopefully we get some and I can play around with that. Um, I'm gonna try and turn off some of these pink lights here so you can maybe see things better. Girl lights are never just the best thing to see under, um, especially those colored ones. So this little tray here is um, Bacopa from here forward. So I just have a few plants of that going and then in the back is the Nicotiana that'll be staying in the house and just growing here as my backup just in case the stuff I move outside uh, doesn't work out. And here I have so the smaller plants on uh, the left there are Angelonia. And then uh, this is all Osteospermum. They grow pretty fast. They're gonna grow this tiny little shelf here pretty quick, the Osteos. But one of my favorite flowers. I absolutely love growing those. Back in here is uh, peppers. These are gonna need to be potted up and divided um, pinched out pretty soon here. So that's my peppers. And then I just went through and potted up most of my tomatoes uh, just a couple days ago, maybe three days ago. So they're looking much happier. Uh, right here, there's two little pots. Those are the uh, chocolate sprinkles that I tried to plant from the, this, the little tomato I found in my freezer. So pretty sure that's not working out the way I was hoping there. It's worth a try. And then up here is the rest of my cannas that I saved over winter and then divided up. And these are my Cafe Ole Dahlias. I think the one in the very back might still not be coming up, but all the rest are and I've pinched some of them. And then the very back is my um, Sugar Rush peach peppers and my Hungarian hot wax, I believe is what I started. I started those in February, I believe. So they're looking great. They've been pinched once, they're branching out, they look great. And then I have some sage, some thyme, and some lemon balm. And I realized I missed, I missed a shelf. So over over here is zinnias, lots of zinnias. Um, 
What do I have? Raz, it's Sahara Raspberry Lemonade, Benary's Giant, Zinderella, I can't remember, Peach, I think it is, Queenie Lime Red, I believe, and Mardi Gras Mix at the very back. And here I have some Lobelia in the very back there, a couple rows of those, and then I have uh, Coreopsis, that's a dwarf red amulet. Uh, and then the next row is Obricia. Um, it's a red purple mix, I believe. And then these are my asters uh, taking their sweet time. I've actually just stuck a couple pots in the refrigerator just to see, but asters can take like two to three weeks to germinate. I have one, one little one coming up there. These have been about two weeks yet. No signs. So I just stuck a couple in the refrigerator because I've heard sometimes that can trigger them to germinate. Um, and then here is cilantro, I believe, yes, in that little pot. These are my begonias. And uh, I think I'll do a video soon about um, what I'm doing with these. Uh, some are looking pretty sad. I think I know why. And the rest are looking great. And um, what do I have here? Oh, my ground cherry. There is, a, they're just coming up. Wow, ground cherries are very slow and I did not know that. I actually reseeded them and then they started to come up. I'm pretty sure it's the original seeds that started to come up. If you can see them behind the basil. I'm trying to hold a light for you in the one hand, so. Um, and then the little grassy looking things are millet. So that's Jade Princess Millet. And uh, it's supposed to be um, very much a princess when it comes to cold weather, so it'll be staying in my house for quite a while. Never grown it before. And then basil, um, I can't remember what variety, but basil, so. And as you can probably see, I've been using it in my, my meals, so. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little look at uh, what I have growing uh, in my grow room and my cold frame and even out in my garage, so. The plants are piling up and uh, I need some warm weather. We're about four weeks now from our average last frost date, uh, or I am, you might not be. Um, so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.